Hey guys, welcome back to Based in MMA. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Islam Makhachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky, my official breakdown and prediction for this fight. This fight takes place this Saturday as the main event of UFC 294, guys. And I absolutely cannot wait for this fight. It's absolutely incredible. Two of the best fighters in the world right now going at it once again. You know, at UFC, I think it was UFC 284. I really thought we were never going to see that fight ever again. But the MMA gods have blessed us once again. And they want us to see Volkanovski and Islam Makhachev go at it. Clearly, the MMA gods think that the score was not settled in that first fight. And they need to run it back, guys. They need to run it back. And let's just get... Let's just cut through it. Let's talk about this fight, man. You know, you guys, the people that watch this channel, you know the X's and O's of this fight. You know that Alexander Volkanovski is a very dominant featherweight champion. You know how good Islam Makhachev is. This man hasn't lost since 2015. You know, Islam Makhachev, prior to the first Volkanovski fight, he destroyed Charles Oliveira. You know, prior to that fight, he was he fought a Bobby Green on Show Noise, who he absolutely destroyed. And then prior to that, he beat a Dan Hooker, who was also on short notice, that he absolutely destroyed. And then he's fought Thiago Moises. Like, this guy has fought a lot of good competitions. I get it. A lot of the circumstances around Islam Makhachev's opponents has been, you know, a little suspect. But that's not Islam Makhachev's fault at all. Like, we know that even though Islam Makhachev, maybe prior to that, Charles Oliveira, had not fought the best competition in the lightweight division... I mean, we still, we knew that his skills were up there. We knew he had a championship level skill and that this guy was most likely going to be a future champion because he was that good. Like, we knew that Islam Akashev was that good. Now, we got Volkanovski, who's just looked unbeatable in the featherweight division, besides maybe that Max Holloway rematch where he got dropped. Volkanovski won three out of those two rounds. You guys need to go back and watch it. It's just a bunch of Max Holloway fanboys who think he won the rematch, but he really didn't. And we saw how Alexander Volkanovski made a lot of adjustments from that rematch that he won and how he just absolutely destroyed Max Holloway in the trilogy, man. I've never seen a fighter get destroyed like that ever, man. He just absolutely, at least not in the championship level fight, just Volkanovski just shut him down. Like, it didn't even feel like I was watching a fight. It was so weird watching that Volkanovski versus Max Holloway uh, trilogy. It was just so weird. So we know that Volkanovski is such a good fighter, man. The fact that he's so short and strong, he has so so much great fight IQ, very fast with his hands, very fast uh, low, low kicks. This Volkanovski is incredibly well-rounded, guys. And, you know, I know a lot of people... The MMA community, because I've been watching a lot of prediction videos uh, leading up to this card. I mean, I watched the Lucas Tracy. He feels that Islam Makhachev is going to knock out uh, Alexander Volkanovsky. I think MMA Guru feels the same, if I'm not mistaken. And I've just heard all this, guys. And I can't lie. When this fight first got announced, I was leaning heavily on Islam Makhachev to win the fight. Because all the signs point to Islam Makhachev. I mean, the guy, you know, Alexander Volkanovsky stepping in on 10 days notice. Prior to that, a weeks prior, I think like a month or two ago, Alexander Volkanovski had hand surgery. So we don't know how well he's been recovering. We don't know how hard he's been training. We know that the guy trains every day to stay in shape, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's in fight shape. You know what I'm saying? So that is taken into consideration. The fact that Islam Makhachev in that first fight in Australia didn't rehydrate properly because I think the rehydration clause is shorter um, in Australia and Perth. So that is also taken into consideration. We know that Islam Makhachev in Abu Dhabi, he's going to be able to rehydrate properly and he's going to be a lot stronger coming into this rematch. And then also the fact that Islam Makhachev was, uh, won that first fight. He absolutely won that first fight. I know a lot of people out there feel that Volkanovski won, but I feel like less and less I see people saying that Volkanovski won. I think most of us MMA fans got lost in the sauce when that fight happened. But as we've gone back to rewatch that Islam versus Volkanovski one fight, we've come to realize that the fight was pretty... Like, 
it's not Makashev won the fight pretty unanimously. You know what I'm saying? You can make the argument that he won four out of those five rounds. You honestly can because I think two and three were super close. The first fight was the first round was Islam. The fourth round was definitely Islam, and then the fifth round was definitely Volkanovski. I think the second round I gave to Volkanovski, and the third round I might have given to Islam Makashev, if I'm not mistaken. It might be uh, it might be switched. I'm not sure which round it was, but thing is, for sure, Islam Makashev won three out of those f- three out of those five rounds. You know what I'm saying? So Islam Makashev won a unanimous decision, but there was a lot of takeaways from the fight, man. It seemed like to me, guys, that like Volkanovski going into that fight, man, he was really worried about Islam Makhachev's grappling. And I don't blame him because prior to that, like, think about how people talk about Dagestanis and their grappling, their sambo wrestling, man. When these guys take you down, they just drown you, man. You just can't breathe. They just control you on the ground. They're so good at body manipulation and submissions and just so physically imposing that I'm pretty sure Volkanovski going into that first fight was so worried about that. And, you know, he thought he was going to be able to walk him down on the feet. And we saw that Islam Makhachev was, that he had more success in the grappling than he thought he was going to have. But when he saw that Islam Makhachev was actually better in the striking, I feel like Volkanovski started to make adjustments, especially in that fifth round where he caught Islam Makhachev, dropped him. And that is also very important, guys, because the last moments of the fight are going to leave an impression on the fighter. The fact that at the end of this fight, Volkanovski was on top of Islam Makhachev landing ground and pound shots, and that was the last sequence of the fight, that is going to leave a mark on the fighter. Not enough people are talking about that. Yes, Islam Makhachev won the fight. I'm in full agreement. But what you, but the last moment of that fight wasn't Islam Makhachev winning the fight. It was Alexander Volkanovski win that, winning that fight. Now, if that fight is a couple minutes longer... Volkanovski wins the fight. Now, I get that you can make the argument for the fourth and first round, right? Because obviously, if there's no uh, in-between rounds, if there's no rounds, I mean, Islam Makhachev would have just controlled him on the ground forever. So I, I get that argument. But what I'm saying is that is Volkanovski was the one landing ground and pound shots. He was the one that was closer to a finish more than Islam Makhachev. Yes, I get it. Islam Makhachev did stun Volkanovski on the feet. But there were not shots where Volkanovski was going to be out. You know what I'm saying? It just stunned him. And then he was able to, you know, get his composure back and stuff like that. You know, he stunned him. Clearly, Islam Makhachev hits a lot harder than Volkanovski. I mean, not a lot harder, but he clearly had more sting in his shots than Volkanovski. And he had great counters. That left hand was beautiful. That right hook was beautiful. And I think Islam Makhachev was also a lot better in those close encounters than Alexander Volkanovski. I mean, Alexander Volkanovski was switching stances, trying to close the distance on Islam Makhachev and find shots. But if you notice, Volkanovski was kind of being a little bit more hesitant on the feet because it was kind of hard to find shots on Islam Makhachev. I mean, Islam Makhachev is so defensively sound that I think Volkanovski was kind of like, man, this guy is kind of hard to punch on the feet. And I think Islam Makhachev felt like, man, this guy is kind of hard to, you know, submit on the ground and really control, man, because we saw how Volkanovski was able to reverse positions. And even Volkanovski attempted to take down and stuff like that. And then Volkanovski also reversed positions in the clinch and stuff like that. So that first fight was pretty competitive. I think Volkanovski had the bigger moments, but Islam Makhachev clearly won the fight. Now, Let's talk about the rematch because I think a lot of things are going to be different coming into this rematch, guys. I really do feel like a lot of things are coming into this rematch. Um, Like I just mentioned, I think Islam Makhachev is going to go into this fight a little bit stronger. So I feel like if Islam Makhachev is able to take the fight to the ground, he's going to have more success than he did in that first fight. Because one, Islam Makhachev is going to be bigger. I think Volkanovski's cardio is not going to be as great and he's not gonna be as big as he was in that first fight that's something to take into consideration but i think volkanovski he's gonna take more risk in this fight guys and he said in an interview that he's gonna take more risk and that's something that i even said when the fight originally got announced where i felt like okay this fight is not gonna be the same as the first and i'm calling it right now i'm gonna be very surprised you guys are gonna come back and clown me after saturday i'm gonna be very surprised very surprised if this fight goes out of the third round, I really do not see this fight going the distance. Somebody's gonna get a finish here. And I'm going with Alexander Volkanovsky to get a KO TKO in this fight, guys. I really do believe he's gonna find the shot. And I believe that Alexander Volkanovsky will not have taken this fight if he didn't feel like he was gonna win the fight. Like, I feel like Alexander Volkanovsky, 
after that first fight, he realized like, man, I was so worried about his grappling, about how strong this guy's going to be when he takes me down, that I feel like it made him a little bit more hesitant on the feet, and it just made him a little bit more hesitant to take risk. And I feel like sometimes in the moments where he did stun Islam Makashev, he kind of like would freeze and look at his work. And something that I noticed about Alexander Volkanovsky against Yair Rodriguez is that he just, Alexander Volkanovsky just looked a little bit more aggressive to me. Or am I crazy, man? He looked like he had a little bit more venom. He looked like he was like, okay, I'm not here to have a chess match. I'm here to hurt you. I'm really here to hurt you. And we've seen that Alexander Volkanovsky is capable of hit, of hurting Islam Makashev on the feet. I mean, that was the last sequence of that of the first fight. So I think that's going to be very important coming into this fight, guys. And ultimately, I'm going to go with Alexander Volkanovsky to be able to find the finish. KO, TKO. I know this is going to, you know, it's a hot take right now. I can't lie. It's a hot take because all the MMA community, all the YouTubers you guys probably watch, are picking Islam Akashev to submit or KO uh, Volkanovsky. And I was, uh, I was on that side. I was on that team. I was one of those people when that fight got announced, guys. But when I've thought about the matchup, guys, and I can't lie. I have to trust my gut, guys. I have to trust my feeling with this fight. I really do believe that Volkanovski is going to be able to get it done in this fight. And it's going to be absolutely incredible. And, you know, we have to... Look, I get it. When it comes to these predictions and all that, we like to take the logic and all this stuff into consideration, which is good, right? The fighters pass fights. Their style, the style match and stuff like that. But sometimes you also have to go with your gut, man. Because, I mean, how many people really pick Sean Strickland to beat Israel Asanya, but if you really thought about the style matchup, like if you really would have thought about the style matchup, you know, you could see how Sean Strickland can make it hard for Israel Asanya. I mean, Israel Asanya has never had the best boxing. Sean Strickland has, is pretty defensively sound. I know a lot of people were remembering the Alex Pereira and a lot of people use MMA math such as, well, if Alex Pereira kills Sean Strickland and Israel Asanya killed Alex Pereira, well, then Israel Asanya is going to kill Sean Strickland. That's... You know what I'm saying? But we've seen how the sport does not work that way. It does not work that way. And I get it. We're seeing the two best fighters right now. It's not like Alexander Volkanovsky is this crazy underdog. I mean, he's a plus 185, which is not crazy odds. I mean, those. I think those odds are fair due to the circumstances around this fight. But like I said, I just think like even the Aljamain Sterling versus Sean O'Malley fight, guys. I remember that fight week. I was leaning heavily on Sean O'Malley, guys. I just had a feeling that Sean O'Malley was going to be able to find the shot. But I did not pick him. I did not pick him because I went with the logic. I went with the fact that Aljamain Sterling is grappling. He's so good. His past fights. He's coming off, you know, defeating Henry Cejudo in a very close fight. And then prior to that, he beat a one arm TJ Dillashaw. And then he beat Peter Yan, who we all thought was he was a champion and the best 135er at the time. So all these things, we looked at the resume. We saw how Sean O'Malley, you know, he had just been through a controversial decision against Peter Yan, where a lot of people thought he lost. And then prior to that, he had a no contest against Pedro Munoz. And then before that, he was just fighting unranked fighters. So all the signs, all the logic points towards Aljamain Sterling being able to outgrapple Sean O'Malley and absolutely destroy him. I mean, I don't know how many MMA content creators picked Aljamain Sterling to submit you know, Sean O'Malley in the first and second round. So many of you guys, I'm pretty sure all the MMA gurus and the Lucas Tracy, I'm sure all those YouTubers you watched picked Aljamain Sterling to absolutely destroy Sean O'Malley. And look what happened, guys. Look what happened. Now, I understand this is not that type of fight, right? Because that's a grappler versus striker kind of matchup. I think Islam Makhachev and Alexander Volkanovsky have shown that they're two of the most well-rounded fighters we have currently in the UFC. We've seen how good Islam Makhachev is on the feet. This guy does not get hit often. Now, I will say something about Islam Makhachev. I mean, he was going to fight Charles Oliveira. And something that I mentioned was that I feel like Islam Makhachev has a suspect chin. I really do feel like he's a suspect chin. The reason we don't see this man get TKO'd is because he's so defensively sound. But I feel like when you land clean on Islam Makhachev, he does not take punches well, guys. And like I said, I think Alexander Volkanovski is going to be able to find the shot. I really do believe he's going to come into this fight a little bit more gr aggressive. He's going to trust in his striking a little bit more. And I really don't think that this guy should bang on his cardio. I know that's one of Alexander Volkanovsky's greatest assets is his cardio, his fight IQ. But I think going into this fight, 
he needs to take risk. And I think that's how Makashev is also going to take risk because he knows how good Alexander Volkanovsky is. So I'm very curious to see what kind of game plan Islam Makashev uh, implements in this fight. I could see maybe Islam Makashev trying to grapple in that first round to really tire out Alexander Volkanovsky in those grappling exchanges because he knows that Alexander Volkanovsky is not necessarily in fight shape. He's gonna he's not going to have as good a, a cardio as he did in that first fight, guys. But like I said, I get it. Everything is stacked against Alexander Volkanovsky in this matchup. But I have to trust my gut. I really do. And I truly do feel, guys, that Alexander Volkanovsky is going to win this fight. It's going to be crazy. It truly is going to be crazy. Now, if Islam Makhachev, you know, comes on Saturday and ends up winning, you can come back and clown me in the comments. Who cares? But I keep it base here, and I'm going to stick to my gut, and I'm going with Alexander Volkanovsky to win by KOTKO. I think he's going to be able to find the shot. I think he's going to be a little bit more aggressive. He knows the adjustments he made. He knows the adjustments that he needs to make after that first fight. I think Islam Makhachev is also going to make a lot of adjustments. But if you think about it, I mean, Islam fought a pretty good fight in that first fight. And he was still able to get the decision. And I think Volkanovski, after that first fight, you could tell, man, when he was walking to the locker room, he was like, man, I could have done more. I could have done more. Because I really, like I said, guys, I really do feel like that grappling, that fear of the of, of Islam Makhachev's wrestling did play a factor in that first fight that just made Alexander a bit more hesitant. And I think coming into this fight, he knows how Islam Makhachev feels when he takes him down. He knows. You know what I'm saying? He knows. And he's not going to play that game. He's here to hurt Islam Makhachev. And like I said, I'm going with Alexander Volkanovsky to find a shot. And you, baby, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, guys. That, that That's just my overall thoughts on this matchup. Um, Islam Makhachev is a great counter striker. So I do think that Volkanovsky needs to be a little bit hesitant. Not hesitant, but he needs to be a little bit careful closing the distance. But I think Volkanovsky is going to have greater shot selection this time. I think he knows what he needs to do. I think he knows the success he had in that first fight. And um, yeah, guys, that's ultimately my prediction for this fight. You know, I was taking so long to make this video, guys, because I kept going back and forth, man. And it wasn't until this morning that I felt like, yeah, Volkanovsky is going to get it done. Volkanovski is going to get it done. And I was like, yep, I'm going with him. I'm going with Volkanovski. I'm going against the grain here. And I truly do feel that way, guys. Because it, honestly, if I still felt that Islam Makhachev was going to win the fight, I would pick him. I really would pick him. But I truly feel now that Alexander Volkanovski is going to win the fight. I think he has the skills to do it. I think just due to the way the guy's build, he's just so hard to out grapple and really submit. So I don't really see Islam Makhachev you know, submitting Volkanovski. I think if Islam Makhachev ends up winning, it's going to be with a knee. It's going to be in a clinch. He's going to find a shot. Whoever ends up winning this fight, I think it's going to be by KO, TKO. I think I'm, I could agree in that sense. Like whoever ends up winning this fight is going to be by a KO, TKO. And like I said, I'm pretty confident this fight is not going the distance. And I'm going with Volkanovski to be able to find a shot. I think he's going to be a little bit more aggressive. I think he's going to be dangerous in this fight, like you said in that interview. And I'm all in on Alexander Volkanovski to win this fight, guys. So, yeah, guys, that is my prediction. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.